Hello. Editing Edward here. I was being a dumb bitch and I left the camera on manual focus. So basically the entire video is out of focus, but maybe it's for the better. Enjoy. Cause I'm too spicy for your heart. Bring the fire alarm. My favorite thing ever is when um, K-pop idols or whatever performing at like the in the US. <laughs> and then of course it's like the cause I'm too you know the famous line that everybody can sing, right? Mm -hmm. But then right after the line after is like a Korean line, but then nobody knows no it. Because right? they're so used to just the English part. Whenever I'm watching like a live performance, like a uh, K-pop group in America, I get really nervous about that. Recently I've watched um like because there's a lot of um, Korean K-pop artists uh, went on tour in America. Mm -hmm. And uh, surprisingly, a lot of, because um, we call it Daechang, like singing together with artists in the concert, mm -hmm. Daechang. Mm -hmm. um, when it comes to Korean lyrics, I was surprised. Actually, a good part of the crowd actually can sing Who was the it? Korean lyrics. I think it's New Jeans. New Jeans. Yeah, maybe the lyrics is easier. Well, maybe, probably, yeah. yeah. And New Jeans, you know, who everyone likes New Jeans. I think New Jeans is my favorite girl, girl group right now because yeah. I I never bought um, like any of the the goods. You really bought Rise this album that, but that's they are they are not go go girl group. Rise my, is, uh, my favorite pipeline is the way that you were so obsessed with Espa and as the second I've debuted, the second they hit you dropped Espa like a it, fly. Initially, initially I was the reason why I was obsessed with Espa is because mm. I have never seen, you know, any Chinese member debuted in the K pop um scene for a very long time, like new Chinese person, I think. Oh, for in your radar because you're not yeah. you don't really yeah, follow yeah I don't really follow K-pop yeah. and then for a huge company like SM and then mm. debuting because um, the Korean public does not want Chinese um, training to be debuted in Korea anymore mm. because they, they feel like when they get famous they would just go back to China yeah there's that sentiment yeah. especially with the, all the shit that happened with SM back in the day yes with EXO started Super with Junior. Han Kyung from, Han yeah, Han from Ju Super Junior then EXO yeah. yeah all the members went back I noticed that they'll be like oh I have some promotions to do in China and then they never come back because mm -hmm. they'd be making all that money there and it was, it was, it, because it was COVID and he was oh, yeah. you know, constantly in China and then yeah. he wrote a letter on his Instagram saying that he's officially leaving mm -hmm. XO I think uh, after the the album before the previous one mm -hmm. speaking of yeah. which I was, on the way here I saw an article about how there's like a rumor or like gossip that Lisa rejected YG's second offer of was it 37 she did I didn't even know I thought I wasn't rumors, even following rumors yes but uh, to be honest it's Lisa why, know, why would she take any offer from YG? I know. If they were saying it's like 37 billion Korean won. It was like, what, like 37? I remember in US dollars, it was like 37 million US dollars. Well, she's worth even more, of course. Girl, yeah. So it... Because it, 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 Blackpink as a brand, it will even create more money for well, YG. And then mm -hmm. uh, just in general, a lot of people want to see four of them stick together as a group because the synergy was just there. But we're talking about them. Lisa. I know, I know. And if you, if you were Lisa, would you stay with YG? Hell no. You got a rich boyfriend? Hell no. A boyfriend that can buy out YG? Hell no. I know. All I my ladies stay with me? Hell no. no I'm, I'm, I'm just a, as a fangirl of Blackpink, I just want to see them, for them stick together. Because uh, if they... Because you're a selfish bitch. Just kidding. I no, know. I know what you mean. I, I'd like to see them continue to make music together. Especially because they weren't really making that much music together to begin with YG. Yes, yes. But I just feel like from the standpoint of like being a member, I'm not a member obviously, but if I were a member, honey, YG, what have, they, what have they done for me? I'm making them money, right? They're using me. You might be wondering why is there suddenly a giant ass coffee next to me? And um, it's the power of editing. Yes, um, it keeps you alive. It gives you power and um, it might give you diarrhea, but that's not going to be presented in this video. <laughs> that will be on our Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> so after we're filming this, right, mm -hmm. we're supposed to go to the restaurant and we're deciding if you're going to, originally we're, gonna, we're planning on going to the, the club. Tonight. The club. Cause there's a the girly club, the girly pop club. Yes. Nah. What do you song? Cause it's a new one, right? Yes. That was opened by a Korean photographer. Is it like? Yeah, Moon Kim. Do people know like he? What? He a faggot? <laughs> oh, Moon Kim is very openly like everyone knew. Cause if you look at his page, it's very obvious. Yeah. And I don't think he hide it because mm. you know he opens up 
a, a gay club and yeah. he take photos of hot man and hot turn, sweaty tan Korean man and he turned into uh, he turned them into a magazine called Now Boys Now Boys right yes so I, but I mean Now Boys is sort of a, it's the, like the, the, one. Do a, people the high buy class shit? yes Now Boys is actually sold in um, I think Palace de Tokyo or something the, so people it, buy it in in Paris. It's like it's sold in not only in domestically, it's sold like wow. internationally. So now the European in, in the most cool bookstore. So now the European girlies that uh, have the Asian fetish. Yes, because um, when they're when they're uh, selling, uh, having a pop up or something. Oh, they, they were first entered in like the Paris the bookstore, um, and they showed it in the their story. Um, there are people lining up to actually. Wow. Yeah. So how people are mocking Abercrombie and Finch, their marketing strategy of mm-hmm. selling sex, and now we're still doing and it. And now, yeah, other and countries now, are doing it, and it's and totally we're okay. It. Yes. But when white people in America do it, it's like a problem. Yes. <gasps> Oh my girl, get yourself together. But I guess minority representation, right? Asian man, it's time to objectify them and. <laughs> As if we haven't already been doing that for the past, like, what, 20 years? Oh, we, yeah, we have been, yes. Mm-hmm. But I think, because um, when I was in high school, I haven't seen a lot of um, positive and the Asian man with sex appeals in, in the media, but now nowadays there are a lot. There are more than we can, you know. Other than in anime. Just kind of <laughs> objectifying the One Piece main character. What's his name? Luffy. Luffy's not Asian. The, oh, that's right. He's yeah, not right. So Luffy's he's not like, Asian. This he's guy. Girl, I fucking watch One Piece. Only, I only, really want to watch the only live action, is Asian. Who? The the green haired um, mm. sword man. And what are they doing now with the live action? Thirsting I, over oh, him. Do you, oh, yeah. Do you like? Do you like? <laughs> I haven't seen, it, but I heard it's really good. I think people might not be like they, they will be uh, disagreeing with my opinion. Mm-hmm. I've seen One Piece with um, like, I, f- I think I saw the first three episodes because I have ADHD, so I was like doing online shopping while <laughs> watching it. The live action, the new one. Yes. Uh. So I'm I'm not super impressed with the series because really, yeah, I, I was find myself really into the online shopping I was doing. Really, th- which means how um, was it just boring for you, or you can, there's just no catchy like eye catching or. Because for me, I've watched One Piece um, mm-hmm. when, I was, when I was little. Yeah, I will only watch like the first maybe forty episodes, mm-hmm. but I remember vividly what happened. Mm-hmm. So when I watched the the real the live action, mm-hmm. uh, it's actually very similar to the anime, but mm-hmm. they just they just did it in like live action. live action. Really, which is there's no for me there was nothing there was nothing uh, new. So as a person that watched it before, it not nothing. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like the Disney remakes lately. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's it's like when I watched um, Lion King. Mm-hmm. That kind of feeling. Did you watch the, the live action one? Yeah. I heard I watched, it was horrible. Uh, the Lion King movie, I almost fell asleep because... The the, it, new, the, the live action one? Yeah, because they, 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 they made everything like real animals, which does not make any sense to yeah. me. I just feel like... Mm, There's like a charm with animation that... Yeah. Has, you know, but for them to look real, it's kind of just weird. Yeah. The, and apparently it took out a lot, like, there's no singing, apparently. I think there, there is. Is there? Is there? I forgot. But I watched it and I feel like because they real they looks like real lions and and deers, um, <laughs> but they, who can talk? Deers, yeah, but who can talk? Not even like more monkeys. He said deers. <laughs> because yeah. I think one of the main characters deers or know something. Gazelle, Anya. Um, there's no well, deers in Africa. Oh, sorry. It's okay. But I did I did watch the live action because I remember very clearly I watched it with my um my son at that mm-hmm. time so I watched it him with him and um yeah and we had come to town later. Leave a lasting impression on you because <laughs> I was too busy you know like thinking thinking about how that dick's gonna be that night. No, yeah, I'm ready for oh this shit. Oh my god, shit. I'm, a whore. I'm really tired of you saying that because literally <laughs> your mouth does not match your actions. He, he was the a words. nice person. He was a mm-hmm. nice person. I liked him. Yeah, he's in Chicago now. How are you doing? My first Korean boyfriend was uh, from Chicago. Oh, yeah. How is he doing now? Get, get, he got is married? studying to be a lawyer. Well, I think he wow. is a lawyer now. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Can I get his number? Because my mom is always telling me I either have to marry a lawyer or a doctor or be one. So now the third option is okay, actually I'll, um, I'll failed. Ask him. So I'll let him know. I just have to marry one. But so the One Piece movie, uh, so the One Piece live series, I can tell them they poured a lot of money into it because this is the it looks computer expensive computer graphic. Yes, mm. it looks expensive, and the acting is actually not bad. Mm-hmm. And I, I actually appreciate the casting. I think everything 
So, Everything is actually up to standard, to so be it's, honest. It's literally just a live action translation yes. of a movie. So I so that's why I feel like is this really necessary? Mm, okay. If, they, they, oh. if they cannot produce anything new, Do then you, is it necessary? Uh, I see what you mean. Do you think it'd be interesting for someone like for me, I haven't seen One Piece at all. Mm-hmm. Do you think I would find it interesting? I think if you have time to kill Mm. You, it's better than a lot of uh, contents in Netflix because really? a lot of them are actually not that good. If you have time to kill and if you feel bored, bored I, I think you can watch it. But, but for me, if I'm bored, I just play video games. So you're, if you're not a big Netflix person, I don't think mm. you'll find it interesting yeah. enough. And it's, since you self-claim that you have ADHD, then... I've never said that. You, I said the tendencies are popping up, oh, but I didn't okay. say I have it. Uh, I mean, then it's, imagine I'm I, those girls on TikTok that are just like pretending they have tic- the tics. They're just like, they, they are people. Like Gahani, that. this whole thing about like people self diagnosing when they don't really have it. Uh huh. So no, I, I do. I am uh, clinically diagnosed with HD, so I'm not lying. Well, I'm, I'm talking more about other stuff like tics and like uh. But tics. Are you just, looking at my, uh, my huh? armpits? Yeah, I was like, are you? Why? Uh, hey. Because you. Oh, you really shaved that. You I did? really shaved. Oh, I that. trimmed it. Oh, you trimmed it, girl. When it shave it, when you shave it and it grows back, it's the most uncomfortable feeling. Goes to tell trimming hassle. How about manscape? Do, 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 I, oh, I use the razor. You you manscape yourself? Oh, you're talking about the brand or the the act of manscaping? The act of manscaping. Oh, There's a brand called Manscape. Yeah. Oh, that's you, they're one of those brands that have a lot of people that's like thanks to today's sponsor, Manscape. Oh. Um, yeah, I do because yeah, kind of, I feel uncomfortable when there's too much. It also just makes my dick look bigger. So that's what they say. <laughs> I know, right? But, honey, a small dick is a small dick. Like, but I feel like, do you do like man without hair? Um, like completely shaven. I I'm not gonna lie. When I see it, I get a little bit taken aback. I'm like, oh, but that looks really bare. Yeah, but I'm not. I don't hate it. It's nice because it's like clean. But also, because technically, one of the functions of a body hair is to absorb like odor. Mm-hmm. Also, it'll smell better, like worse. Not worse, but there's a certain smell that comes from people that completely shave. I mean, it could be depending on the person, but even because you like we had the conversation about how Koreans don't have body odor, but there's a certain smell that comes from people that shave all everything down there. I don't know what kind of smell. I don't. Know. It's like a. I when I, I when I say musty, it sounds horrible, but it's not musty. It just sounds like a natural male smell. I think. Like but pheromone? I suppose so. I'm not gonna lie, it was kind of hot, but it wasn't like, because I guess the first thought I would have is like, oh, if someone's completely shaven, they smell so fresh, but that's not really the case. But uh, huh. I miss him. He was very handsome. He was so good looking. He's the one I talked about on Buddy and Cherry, where he didn't really have. He only had body picture. Oh, but I was feeling frisky that night, so I was like, okay. So the, the, the thing is, you can call me slush. I mean, cum guzzling slut whore. Because <laughs> um. If I meet a Korean man and if he does a complete like manscape down there, that mm. means he's very sexually active. So uh, I, yes, because you know, like it, the image. Because in Korea, not a lot of people do manscaping. Really? Oh yeah. yeah, if, yeah. if he does it, it's just in Korea because I I know that in other countries it's, it's just a very normal thing to like it just like shave your armpit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So in Korea, if I found a man that does that. I feel like he probably means he's very sexually active. And you don't like that? Uh, I don't know. It's so if a person is sexually active, but they don't shave, then it's okay for you? <laughs> At least I don't know. Eh? It's not really in <laughs> my face. Like, so as long as you don't know? No, because I'm just afraid. Um, uh. um, what if, because that means like, he's very into like when I stand mm-hmm. and everything. Then if Risk. I, yeah. What, 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 but that could be anybody. I know, right? That's why you should be using condom with him too. I know, but you know, condom does not prevent. It doesn't, but it helps. I know, but the thing is, so I see it, then inside of me, I'm just a little bit afraid. What if I catch something? Even though I use a condom. A person that is completely shaven? Yes. That's, I never tell that person Mm -hmm. uh, if I'm having a one stand. I'm just, inside of me, I'm just a little bit, you, you know, it's, it's just very honest speaking. But then when you meet up with the person and then you don't find out that they're completely shaven until you're about to do it, then what do you do? So I, there's, no, there's no way of finding it out after you take off that, that person's pants. And then whenever like I see a very clean shaven um, a genital, and I feel like it's very clean and it's very nice, but will I be catching anything later? Mm-hmm. That's just something that I ask inside of myself. I never, mm. you know, and I, it's just, it's just an internal struggle of me. So if you're gonna fuck Eddie, don't shave. <laughs> I've, no, otherwise, you'll think a, you're a slut. It's just a, no. <laughs> it, 
and I, I'm I'm completely okay because I'm having a I'm on a stand or I'm having a like about to have a relationship with that person too. I'm just thinking inside of me like um because it's Eddie, in Korea. It's okay. It's okay. You're yeah, a slut it's shamer. Just, it's so okay. Well, I think people are just gonna very, be very disagreeing with me, but I'm just no. I think I, I understand where you're coming from, but that's why you do what you can do to protect yourself by using a condom. Mm -hmm. But also, does it depend on the vibes? Because I feel like if you're gonna talk to someone on the app, and you're obviously clearly meeting when you because you, you know they ask like, oh, what kind of re re relation are you looking for? And if they're gonna be saying, oh, just you know, casual. One yeah, night stand, I obviously. Never, I never have any um, like just casual relationship with a person that I feel like uncomfortable talking with because I feel like if the person is rude or um, just doesn't seem like a nice person, mm -hmm. then it will be super awkward if you have a, like one night stand. Right. Because so I, I feel like just from having the conversation, mm -hmm. you should feel the vibes of whether they're a slut or not. I, I guess. So that maybe explains I'm I'm so safe right now. But who knows what's gonna happen in the future? I feel like you act like an STD is gonna take you out, but really, it's gonna be me. Well, <laughs> well, because 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 you know, STD is something very serious, and everyone needs to um, yeah to prevent that from happening. Especially in Korea, where uh, sex education is not, not really a thing. yeah. The the thing is, why I'm stressing this again is because in Korea, especially girls, I ask ask my girlfriends. I'm not saying everyone is doing this. Um, they do not use any condoms. Mm. Uh, because they're claiming that their Korean, Korean, Korean boyfriend does not like the feeling of condoms, and then they will do I this. I hear this all the time. Yeah, the, the, yeah, right. So the, the sexual, the sex education about preventing STD is just not up there um, mm -hmm. compared to other countries in Korea. Yeah, they just see it as like a nuisance. Yes, and um, they were just, oh, I would just, I would just pull out in the last minute. That's what sometimes <laughs> they say, and then that's really not like. And then girls, um, what they do is, I think there is a certain surgery. Then there is something that you can, you can place mm -hmm. inside of. Yeah, your, yeah. um the female mm -hmm. um to prevent yeah to prevent uh so pregnancy it's birth control like surgical birth control because uh, one of my best friend has gotten it and mm -hmm. inside of her so she does not get pregnant at all mm -hmm. just to make sure so i heard that's painful to put uh, in and I, out to put i guess i you know as a biological male person i could not experience it unfortunately I could have toggle yeah i just heard but yeah. I th she seemed fine and she's very happy with the result. Mm. But still, that doesn't just prevents pregnancies, but doesn't prevent like. It does not prevent STD, right? of course, so. but she just did not want to get pregnant. Mm. Because, uh, so for her, condoms are purely just for preventing pregnancy. Yes, that's that's for her. But these people don't realize it's also protected against yeah, other STD, things. STD, yes. Yeah. It was her just by kissing, you can get. Con yeah, yeah, exactly. So that's why I was uh, afraid. I was afraid. Yeah. yeah. But also. To be honest, though, the, the way you think about how, like, oh, people that are completely shaved, they might be a little bit frisky all the time, all that, but often, I feel like many people think that in Korea. Can they? I almost want to, I almost have this feeling of, like, people that, let's say they are kind of, like, often having these one night stands, mm -hmm. right? And they know about the st stigma, so then they don't shave. Mm -hmm. So they're still, like, I know out there, right? But they're I like, know, I understood, right? So, hang sang risk in water. Yeah, there's always risk. I'm just saying that the first reaction, the first mm -hmm. impression I saw immediately, what I think. That's the first thing you think. Yes, mm -hmm. and I knew that, of course, people who does not shave, of course, they might have STD or they, they, yeah, they might mm -hmm. risk me as well. And I might, I might have it later. I mean, like if I don't know it. I never um, even thought about that way. Mm -hmm. I met a few guys and they're completely shaven. That's not what I thought. I just thought they liked the feeling, the shiwan shiwan hunt oh, feeling. Oh yeah, they, because a lot of people, um, when I ask my straight friends, mm -hmm. uh, Korean straight friends, mm -hmm. why they're shaving, they said it just feel uh, much clean. Mm -hmm. They said it's, it's it's a clean feeling of yeah. not having any hair down hair down there. Mm -hmm. And then as you said, it make their genital looks bigger. And uh, I actually, to be honest, just feeling wise, I prefer. Um, you know, hair there. Yeah, a monk looking penis. A monk? Because monk does not have hair. So you prefer no hair? Yeah, I prefer no hair. It's what? Just, it's just a, <laughs> no. I prefer. So you prefer the no feeling? Yeah, just with hair. Um, it's just not. Sometimes it Eddie. gets in the way, or sometimes like one or two pieces. See that got okay. into your yeah, mouth. Yeah, I get it. Like you prefer the feeling of no hair because. Yeah, you don't want hair in your mouth, all that, that. But then you have this thing about like, oh, people that are I'm shaved. Just, I'm just saying that the moment that you 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 saw it, and that's the first thing I, I so that's I, the I first thing, help myself. That's the first thing you it. think of. But you're totally fine with them being a slut, is what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I tell you, I, I tell you guys, it's an internal struggle of me. But it's very personal, and I never tell. Uh, the person that I'm having sex with, it's just something that I have inside of my 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 my, my mind. 
Yes. You know those like um, old Christian women went crazy later in their lives because they have so much. Um, mm. A messy girl, Edward. So messy. Yep. <laughs> you know those like crazy Christian women went crazy in their later lives, and um, because there are so much um, like contradictory thoughts in their inside of their mind. Yeah, that's totally me. For me, what th- was like weird for me is how you think that's weird, but you still enjoy the feeling of no hair. Yeah, that's why. It's like, what do you want? I, it's, that's why it's contradictory. So if I uh, have, I'm a, in a very stable relationship. I know that person is not cheating or something. I'm sure. Are you rather than that, shave? Uh, that I'm just. <laughs> I might suggest him. Maybe we could do it together. Um, Waxing on it. Uh, I've never tried waxing, but it, I feel like isn't it so painful? Oh, honey, I can't even do it. my legs. That's a whole other. Oh, that's a mess. Mm-hmm. The dude that was waxing my legs. I we dated a long, long, long time ago. You did. You yeah, did. You dated first, uh, your waxer. Yeah, back wow. when I first uh, moved to Korea. Uh huh. And later on, it turns out he does. Why he doesn't do that anymore? But um, how yeah, how he, did you like get in get with him? I mean, we always, you know, I follow him on Instagram and all that. So I, even though we kind of, we stopped dating, I still kept up with him, what he was doing. And later on, I found out, I guess he was a waxer. So mm-hmm. I was like, hey, I need my legs waxed. And he was like, yeah, sure. Girl, the way I got a boner when he was waxing my legs, <laughs> it was hard. Cause it was like, cause he, and also cause he got really hot too. Mm-hmm. He like bulks up, uh-huh, bulked up, uh-huh, right? So he's uh-huh. like, and he's exactly my type. Like, mm-hmm. kind of tan skin, kind of buff. Kind of like average face. I love that. Oh, so he'd be buff, and this buff, this boy, completely my type, waxing my legs. It's like this weird. Like I got the hard on from him being so hot, but also the extreme pain of the wax. It was a very. It sounds like a beginning of of of, of a pornography. <laughs> right. It Nothing does, happened though, because mm-hmm. I was too much in pain for like, girl. I'm not about to fuck after I just had like my legs completely like I, torn do up. Do you still go there? No, he doesn't do that anymore. But I stopped doing it just because it's so mm. Like, was, I think I did it just because during the summer when I, I wore so many shorts, I don't like the look of hair on my legs. Wait, uh, wait, I don't think you have a lot of hair. Do you do do you do it yourself now? These days, I'm using the same thing I use for my armpit, just the trimmer, uh-huh. so that it looks less. Oh jarring. yeah, actually, there is actually uh, mm-hmm. which means uh, you um, you get rid of the amount of the hair. The bulk, yeah. The bulk mm-hmm. um, in in Korea, like um, Korean man, uh, mm-hmm. there's a like a. I think it starts from Japan, mm-hmm. but now they sold it in Korean olive oil. Like they have ago. a Daiso. I got mine from Daiso. Oh, Daiso. It's uh, if you have a lot of leg hair, they'll take the bulk of the 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 leg hair mm-hmm. so you look like you just have the right amount yeah. of leg hair it, it looks just like a razor uh-huh. but there's guards on it so uh-huh. it doesn't cut all of it off it's just a single razor with like some te- like guards and it's then- so funny how um, you, you still keep the, a part of your masculinity of the you know, the for me hair. it's more like because I don't want to deal with like the ingrown hair mm-hmm. the growing back to the prickly feeling mm-hmm. so for me because my hair isn't super thick and dark anyway so it's mm-hmm. fine uh, but when it all grows out it does look kind of like a lot Especially for my, for my concept, your um, like K-pop idol look. <laughs> the way you hair. say that, I feel almost offended. Oh really? <laughs> it's like giving like all oh, your K-pop wannabe. Sorry, I, it's triggering I, I for me. I need to say it with more enthusiasm. But as you know, I slept. It's to be honest, we both I, only you know, slept like I slept at four four thirty a.m. Mm, yesterday. So that was both of us, honey. I could pretend I'm more excited, and I whatever I said, I don't really, I uh, you know I don't attack anyone, so please don't attack me, okay? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm just saying, as you come I'm just, for me, I'm, every bucket. I'm, you know, I'm just a little worried about what I, what I said about the pubic hair thing, but I'm mm. I'm just saying I, I I don't know. I just want to be real with people that that yeah. listen to me. That's why I'm like ba- I'm like ragging on you, but it's really not that bad. Okay. I think for me the weirdness came from the juxtaposition of oh, because myself <laughs> myself, um, you know, I'm a huge a chunk of like. <laughs> Of cells, always having uh, contradictory thoughts. Mm-hmm. Like, like I want to be a slut, but should I take it to to take a step back? Or? I don't think you want to be a slut. I think you want the, your concept of humor to be a slut because mm-hmm. that's your whole brand, right? Mm-hmm. But you don't actually, you're yeah. not actually a slut. You yes. know. Next time you find me is um, just kidding. <laughs> She's still healthy and um, mm. very yeah, very pink. Mm. <laughs> so. So if it's pink, it's healthy. What does that even mean? <laughs> no, I'm saying this boy. Oh my god. Uh, oh my god. Growing up, did you play The Sims growing up? 
I did. You did? But I never found the game interesting to play. To be honest, I don't... Maybe you're the same. I had the most fun in the sim creation part uh -huh. and the house making. Uh -huh. But when it came time to actually play the game, I'm like, girl, I'm too tired for this. <laughs> so you might have... Um, the talent to become an interior designer like so you no, have I'm really to bad, actually oh really yeah i have no sense of like it's, i'm very similar to my mom like you have a really nice clean house and like all the interior like goes well but for mom I, what am i calling you mom if you go to my house in america honey it's like i i really have well, i really want to pay a visit it, look, it looks like a fucking uh what is those show? What's that show called? The Big Brother Antique How Antique Selling Roadshow. There's like a show where they sell antique stuff, and the guy, the host, is like, the person comes up to him with an object. And he's like, he looks at it, examines it, and gives it a price. And some antique roadshow oh, thing. Oh yeah, I know similar ones. Yeah, yes. if in the background you just see like the entire showroom of like mm -hmm. everyone selling their shit, it's like that. It's an amalgamation of random Polish pottery, German furniture, Italian oh. rugs. It's so weird and like Persian. I don't even know. So you're just like your mom. You like to buy random stuff yeah, so, into your house but it does, yes. maybe the wipe does not match yes when I go into the sims crate build a mode buy mode or whatever I just look at the furniture look at the most expensive ones mm -hmm. and then buy all those even if they don't match mm -hmm. right I don't I don't try to create a theme for my house so um Growing up with The Sims, honey, when I had the option to be because in the game they call wooing wooing woohoo woohoo Sex, oh. honey. Well, obviously, they don't put sex in there. Oh my god, the way that opened my inner s slut. Oh, I, th I think there's a there's an adult version of Sims which you can really ha let your character to have sex and have babies. No, that's every Sim game. What do you mean oh. adult version? Sorry, maybe because <laughs> I, I know. It, it censors it. Like when they're woohooing, they go under the bed sheets, or if there's like a dust cloud. Oh, maybe because. Because I, I told you, like, until uh, junior school, third year, I lived in China. And I think they... they Why, they play, like, a, they, a special Chinese censored I, version? Yeah, I think they split it into two versions. One is uh, called Mo Ni Ren Sheng, which is Sims. Another uh -huh. one called Xing Fu Ren Sheng, which is Sims with the sex. Like, what? I think one they Is it from the same it. company, or is it, like, a Chinese-made version? Uh, I'm pretty sure, because it was so long ago, uh, I don't think the Chinese company made Honey. such versions. Girl. I think Especially because the game, uh, especially the console versions... They, because you have like missions and goals, honey. Depending on like the way you, the personality of your sim, sometimes their goals are always like, oh, start a new relationship, woohoo. So I'm like, I have to woohoo someone every fucking day. And girl, the, that the way that affects you as a child. Look at me now, I'm broken. I'm I, broken, bitch. Yeah, first starting off having sex with the next this dumpster, and now with your waxer. And You'll never let that dumpster thing go. <laughs> You're always bringing that up. Oh, you know what? You can bring up the dumpster thing. I'm going to bring up the fact that you think that lack of pubic hair means that people are sluts and yet you still want to eat that shit up. Um, okay. No, <laughs> I'll, I'll let your dumpster thing go. I'm, I'm, I know. It's just, it just I'm, I am just envy you because right. um, it just sounds very wild. It, 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 even for me, I thought that was fucking wild. Mm -hmm. Think about it now, I cringe because. Yeah, there, there's, but to be honest, it's like we had no other choice because uh, I had a roommate, so I couldn't do it at my place. He lived with his family, and oh, it was just, a, it was very weird. He was already like a playboy, a really like weird, uh, clear, straight. No, the dude I slept with. Oh, oh okay. Not even slept with. I fucked uh -huh. just once. Mm -hmm. Um, I thought he was very much my type, so you know it would be nice if we it, it ended in a relationship. relationship. Yeah, but I knew damn well it wasn't going to, because clearly he just wanted to. I knew you, there are people that you met and you knew it. that it's just gonna be a one-time thing. Yeah, but yeah. in that moment in time, there's nowhere to go, and he was like, "Let's go here." I was like, "Where?" He's like, "Next to the dumpster." Yeah, and it's like a it's like an air a small squared off area with like a brick wall with like one gate in that area specifically for just the dumpsters because obviously the site of a dumpster in a neighborhood is ugly so they're going to put it in a little closed off area but it doesn't smell like anything like the <laughs> the banana peel it clearly smelled like a dumpster because you're sitting next standing next to one right it gives you an interesting story to tell in the in the rest of your life I guess so, but here you are weaponizing it against me. <laughs> I'm not and, weaponizing and it. up like it's a bad thing. Well, if you dare to do it, then just you have to prepare for the judgment. <laughs> no, I have to prepare for the judgment if I tell the story. Well, there are things God. that I've done in my life that I'm not, I don't feel proud of. And you're not talking about them, though. Because uh, you're going to be embarrassed about it. For example, like um, mm. 
I had like um, it's probably the most fucking vanilla thing ever. I had like um, a cheeseburger before I went to sleep. Like you're so eight. dumb. What the heck? I'm, I'm not gonna be here. Like, well, you had a cheeseburger that, that one time. That's a lot of carb. I'm just oh kidding. my I'm lord! Just There's a lot of things I don't feel. I, yeah, I don't feel I'm, I'm very proud And then yeah, uh, Well, I will slowly share One by one As we feel You know More close to the audience Then I will share Cause um, That makes you wonder <laughs> All the conversations We have up, up until this point You're not comfortable With them yet Um, I shared The the, the level of story That I have shared Is the, the things That I felt Well, to be honest yeah. You don't tell anything That crazy mm -hmm. To be fair But there are crazy things I've done But nothing illegal though because mm -hmm. I yeah but even for me thinking about it now I think the craziest one I told you is that dumpster one but other than that mm -hmm. it's all very basic shit there are things that I will I'd rather um, bury with like the, bury get with burned with me yeah, yeah into the ashes and I would Take never tell grave. yes there are things I mean, we, well, we can talk about off camera but not here I almost don't want to hear it because you know, I'm afraid that if I hear it your image you'll forever change in my I'll, I'll turn into those uh, there's nothing image changing it's just uh, I'll be those women I, 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 I would never do anything that's unethical or uh, illegal but I would do things that you don't have to it doesn't have to be unethical or yeah, but illegal just, for just to be a little bit crazy I'm afraid it would turn into the I would never harm ladies anyone. in the movies where and I don't do drugs girl let me fucking speak god damn Sorry. No, I feel like I've turned into those ladies in the movies where they hear such shocking information and they become vegetables, and they're just like, "Okay, so no, it's nothing that like like that degree." Okay. So it must not be that crazy then. Uh -huh. But I, I don't, I don't feel comfortable sharing because it's so really? private. I cannot share it in front of camera. Buji, <laughs> kumane. <laughs> it's just uh yeah like boy why boy boy related a uh, boy related yeah boy related things uh <gasps> why. I don't know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'll, maybe I'll put it in a book or later. <laughs> Not the book. Imagine we write a book later on. Shine. The, the Shining? No, no, no. Ah. Just Jessica Jung. Shine. Oh, oh Jessica it, Jung Shine. It clearly didn't read the book. <laughs> yeah, I did. did you read it? I um, I read the, the summary of it. Girl, the, the fucking thing that when you first open the book, it's on the side. Yeah, uh, yeah. Because <laughs> what the hell? I, have, I have to find which member is who. Yeah. <laughs> You're so dumb. <laughs> I heard there's a lot of juicy shit in there. Yes. Like she even accused um, Seo Hyung mm -hmm. to be a lesbian in the book. Like so that's each, not a good each thing. Each person in Girls' Generation had a... a, 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 a yeah, a corresponding a character. What? And she accused Seo Hyung to be a lesbian. Holding, she was not so holding. So I was like, that's just not... That's not that's nice. That's wild. Mm -hmm. At least be more subtle. Mm -hmm. But I, of course, I think she's making things up. The other day, because like, I have this band-aid on my thing. I, to be honest... <laughs> I have this band-aid on my thumb because uh, I was doing laundry. Oh, yeah. Just, to be honest, it doesn't, it doesn't, it's just to... Uh, what have you been doing, Edward? I was doing laundry. And uh, we have light clothing, light and whites, and then dark. The dark clothing basket is like a fake, like plastic weaved basket looking thing. Oh, yeah. So when I was reaching down, I went too fast and my fingers scraped against the side, the weaving side. And you know how obviously it's like a fake like weave basket, right? So there's holes in it. And my thumb, it went, be the little plastic part went between my nail and my oh, no. thing. So it like, it split it open. Oh no. And so it did, it did, it wasn't too bad, but did it you, hurt. Like sanitize it? Like with, like with alcohol first? Oh, girl, and I then... just washed my hands and I put a bandaid okay. just to keep anything from getting in. Cause it hurts. Yes. I'm trying to keep the skin and the nail together. Oh, and I, I, it sound really hurt. It was painful, but I'm okay. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a survivor. <laughs> and you know, one thing I found out if as you age, mm -hmm. you know, the other day, um, like a few, a few, like um, a couple of months ago, the boy I was something, something with it is uh, the boys, the boys, the boys, the boys. He was in my boys. house because you know how my house is like very close to the mountain. Yeah, uh, and I, I live on the sixteenth floor, so a lot of huge bugs will like. I don't know where they come from, but they will at night, especially in the midnight, uh, because my house is there, there's light on it, and then there will be like bug coming into mm -hmm. a big box coming into my house. And did then, you put the? Because at Daiso they sell the mesh sticker. I, I put a hole. it in, <gasps> but yeah, there, still, I know there's a hose on my yeah, window, yeah, so yeah, I, yeah. I, I seal it, seal it off. But, but still, I, that's why I don't know where it comes from. Uh, but my friend told me maybe the box came from the hasudo, like the the, the tube. The, mm -hmm, the, yeah. The, 
the, the at the bottom on the floor yeah uh-huh. maybe it came from there uh-huh. but anywho I always come like at midnight or something so it's horrifying and it was like this big it, it flies and then the the boy was like like very intimidated I was like oh my god there's a bug in your in your house and I'm like I very calmly stood up and I grabbed a <laughs> You just I took it. I didn't kill it. You I just op- grabbed I went, it. I went. There, I went to the, the door over there. I opened the door and I, th- I threw the bug away, just to like let it go. And uh. I closed the door and I and my face does not change at all. Like, but because Ooh, it was for me, it was very masculine. No, no, it's not top energy, honey. More than masculine, is more like a mom, old woman energy. You know how mom <laughs> yeah, they, very they're calm. Not scared. Yeah, like mom can like grab really hot things without hesitating. Mm. That kind of way. They'll be frying shit with their bare hands. Yes. <laughs> yes. Frying like Korean pancakes like this with their hands. And Question then, though, mm-hmm. after this event, did it turn you off to the boy? Oh, uh, no. Okay. I, 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 thought, I, find, I thought it was really cute. Oh, okay, he, I thought he got, it was going to lead to that. I was like, this is just a bug. Uh. And he was like, oh my God, you are so impressive. He said he felt- And he then felt, he fucked the shit out of that hole that <laughs> night. He, he fucked <laughs> your pussy so, real good no, that he said, night. Because he said, oh my God, I'm very impressed because like you did not An immediate get just scared. Bore. Just- <laughs> Because I'm like, it's just a bug. You know, I don't even get scared when I see like even cockroaches. Even if you wasn't you're not really that scared of bugs? Yeah. <gasps> you're I'm so not, because I'm, I'm, a, a I'm such an old woman. I've seen scary things enough. Because I that's why I felt like if you feel old enough, you have aged like mm. well yeah. enough, you don't see anything. If I think there is like, if there's nuclear bomb ex- uh, exploded outside of my window, I'll be like, oh, okay. Wow. Time to die. <laughs> Really? Yes, oh, I will be okay. I've, I'll just observe. In this state of my life, I think there are not a lot of things can scare me. Don't really? you think? Isn't that that for you? Um, I'm afraid of heights. <laughs> when I see these TikToks or like reels about like people doing skydiving or like they're standing on the edge of something, I get so freaked out. My boots, I'm shaking. My oh, I bungee get, jump too. That scares the shit. I saw one where they're leaning on the edge, right? Mm-hmm. And the guy is holding onto the rope. And the whole concept is that instead of just jumping, mm-hmm. they cut the rope slowly so you can see yourself like... And these ropes are strong. Oh, uh-huh, you are very, Surprisingly, it was, they were down to one last hand. It was still holding it, but um, oh my God, my boots were shaking I the whole time. I cannot do that either. Yeah. I'm really afraid of height. How about air balloons? How, do you want to get on? Hmm. If you go to like Istanbul, because that's the famous place. I feel it. like if I was with someone in, in that basket, it's okay. But the, I, uh, things like, uh, you know what, the Chicago, the thing where the it's like the top floor and the floor is glass so you can see below i cannot i can't do it oh yeah there is yeah stuff like that scares me but if it's like a uh Thank water you. balloon uh if it's a air balloon hot air balloon then it should be okay but i wouldn't look over the edge i would just be inside then the, what's the point of going on an air balloon yeah, right exactly that's the point that's what i'm saying but if there's a cage i think i should be okay Oh, like a rate, like a block, some kind of blocking thing. But I think the air balloon should be open air because there's fire on top. Well, of, of course, you. but I mean not not like a wall, but just oh. like a grading. Oh, a guard or something. Yeah, oh. guard kind. Because me and my friend, we were in like Everland, uh, which is an amusement park in mm-hmm, Korea, mm-hmm. and they have this cable car, which is very unprotected. <laughs> And I, the one that's just like it's not even like a bell it's just yeah, like a bar yeah it has a bar here <laughs> I, oh my god it was, it was the scariest experience okay, I'm, I'm really afraid of high so Everland? I agree with you Everland mm. yeah it was, mm. the, was it right oh no it's all outside right because it's Everland yeah outside and then mm. it, because Everland is built on the Yongin mm-hmm. uh, the district mountain mm-hmm. so you feel like uh, if you, you you can just um, what because I've seen that movie where there's Final a girl Destination oh not Final Destination mm-hmm. but Final Destination is very scary though mm-hmm. don't watch it because <laughs> Final Destination is um the, the, it, it, the incident always take place in the um, like museum park or very regular places. Yeah, regular places, and you feel really scared. Yeah. Um, but the movie that I'm talking about is um, the girl went to like skiing, mm-hmm. and um, she got stuck on the lift. The yeah, on the ski park, uh, on the on lift. the cable car. The lift. Oh, that called lift. The one that's supposed to take you up the mountain, right? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. And then she was the only one. It was really cold, and she kind of go down, and really? she stuck there. Yeah, and, and I always think about that movie. I always thought you could just like jump down because it's snow on the floor, isn't it? Oh, she will die. Of course, it was. It was, it was super high. Yeah, it was super uh, high. And uh, I think later on, there's even like um, wolves that lingering around because it was a mountain. What's this movie of, called? I do not remember. That sounds interesting. Did she survive? I hope so. 
<laughs> Did you watch this movie or not? I it was a long time ago, but it was oh. a very interesting movie. It was wow. a survival sort of yeah, type of movie where they're stuck somewhere. Yeah, but the, there's recently there's a very similar movie where two girls stuck on a very tall like mm-hmm. um, towel thing, mm-hmm. and then, oh yeah, 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 yeah. That mm-hmm. that came out recently. So mm-hmm. if you want to watch, because I already saw the it was very cool the YouTuber analysis where they talk and they explained. That, I'm not gonna go out of my way to no, watch the era of movie the, the pre- appreciating cin- cinematography. That's, is yeah, that's over. true, but. Like, like I said, I'm afraid of heights, so I would not be able to watch that movie because I'm so, oh my God, I'm so nervous around heights. I guess the only thing that can um, scare an old woman for like like th- people like us is one, height, and mm-hmm. second, maybe um, our paycheck coming late. And that's, that's pretty Girl, much. Three amen. is like a small dick. I, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm, well, I'm, I got used to it. Yeah, so. like not third, but fourth. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> a small dick is better than no dicks, so. True. I'm just <laughs> but also I have this horrible fear of like if I'm watching this content where they're like skydiving or bungee jumping and they either are not wearing a parachute or they forgot to attach the bungee oh I have this huge fear of that oh. so there you go or um, there were people I think go skydiving mm-hmm. and then they pull they pull the, th- the trick the trigger and then it does it not does it bu- yeah, yeah. And also, I heard apparently there's supposed to be like an emergency one. Uh-huh. But what if that one is? Well, yeah. But so that's why sometimes there's a person who like hu- like mm-hmm. hugging you on the back, the coach, and then yeah. what if his one does not work? Okay. Yeah. But that that was what are the odds? Yeah. If that really happened, that means maybe it's the gods calling. Do you ever get scared of uh, turbulence on planes? Oh, there there is a really funny thing. I, when I was in high school, um, because my uh, I went to high school in Canada, so I took a really long flight, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and it was like twelve hours. So whenever there's a turbulence, um, because I don't I don't have I'm not I'm a, uh, atheist, so I don't have any religion to pray to. So whenever there's a huge turbulence during the flight, I would just like do this, and I would pray to my grandmother who has passed, mm-hmm. and I thought like he's gonna like she's my grandmother will like answer my prayers. I'm like. <gasps> Please, please, please don't let, let me arrive uh, in Toronto safely, mm-hmm. blah, blah. And then when I arrived in my high school, there was a girl who went like in the same class with mm-hmm. me. And she like tapped on my shoulders. I saw you on the plane, you know? <laughs> I saw you praying uh, really I saw you hard. praying really hard. And I thought that was really funny because you look very anxious. Oh. Yes. And I'm like, that was so embarrassing. But, you know, I, I can understand the mindset. Yeah. It, it was because of the turbulence? It, yeah. Don't was you, it bad? Uh, to be honest, it was not that bad. It was not the worst. Uh, but I'm just because uh, I think if a plane crashes, that's the worst death you can ever uh, experience because you know that you're dying. Yeah, you're just waiting for that. Yeah, you're yeah. just waiting for it. Impact. Right? Yes, I know because I travel to and from America all the time, so I've had experience, especially when it's bad weather, honey. But there was one time it was extra bad where it was like, it was like, did the thing drop? Drop Gajian in there, but it was got to the point where people started screaming. Oh no! Because it was like I would cry. I would literally cry. Yeah, I was like I would pee my pants, and then I I'll, was like, you know what? Let me just put my headphones in, put on some perfume, and die to chocolate disco. <laughs> At least goodbye, plastic man. And then as your one tear drops down <laughs> on your guitar. Uh, no, I'm <laughs> saying that you you're listening to it and know you know that you might be dying and then your one tear drops down and then what's the person you're th- you gonna think of? I'm that's what I'm curious about. Um that waxer. Oh, I'm trying to be funny, oh. but I can't think of anything. Okay. <laughs> no, not the waxer. Oh, the person what? Next to, the person next to the dumpster. I don't remember what that dude looks like. Oh my god. Who who are you gonna so think about? Back in the day. Okay. I don't know if you no, I don't think you were on there. There was like Obviously, because Tumblr was so popular, of course, there was like the cute gay, so- or California gay like community on Tumblr. All the popular Asian boys, you know, from the we- from the West Coast. There was one in particular, a Korean boy, mm-hmm. super hot in the community, super popular, so hot, gay, yeah, girl, obviously, oh, okay. nice body. Think about it; he's not that cute, to be honest. No, but for us, you know, boys that like girls' generation into the K-pop, any kind of you he's know, hot enough. any Korean boy was hot enough for us. Yeah, like he's hot. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't. <laughs> uh, he, he can be. Yeah, I thought he was hot. He's, but yeah, he's cute. Yeah, he was cute. He's really cute. Yeah, when he was sleeping in my house, his dick was like, but it's okay. just so weird. Because mm-hmm. I mean, he's just like snoring really loud, and it's like. I think that's a natural thing when uh, yeah. when guys when yeah, yeah when they're falsely, falsely, yeah. even when they get sleepy they mm-hmm. get hard. Mm-hmm. But uh, anyway, this guy, 
don't know what happened to get to that point, but girl, I ended up fucking him. But sis, when I tell you that wiener, are you serious? It was the smallest fucking thing. Not you know what else? It wasn't just that. We didn't even do anything, and he came within like a minute. You know, it's funny how in my life too, I think smaller size penis always go really fast. So it, it it's actually a good thing because it makes the process faster. It makes it makes <laughs> it makes the pain uh, go I, like. I guess so, to, but also it, it, it make you what suffer about you? less. Did you get any pleasure from that? Um. You know, my persona is this con- <laughs> my persona is this conventional Christian woman. So w- you when that when that where what have you ever shown this this in front of enough in front of a guy. So uh. when in, whenever <laughs> if I encounters a guy with um with a less blessed um penis size, I would never show any you know <laughs> negative would, like reaction. Yes, I would never show you just that. look at it like I'll, 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 that's my I personality. My I, I'm always my fate. put up, put on a smile, and um, <laughs> you know the true man world, the wife. So I, you're exactly like those Korean American Christian girls that we talked about in the other episode. Yes, I'm. Oh, you put on exactly, a front. Yeah, do you know like True Man Show, the wife mm-hmm. of the True Man Show? Like yeah. that's, the Coco. that's me. Like she's like. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just very. I'm always joyful. I'm very happy. I'm appreciative, and I'm making the man happy. And then, I, and then you see that they not only are they small, they're completely shaven. <laughs> I'm like, honey, that's not necessary. <laughs> I can, because I can understand wanting to not want super long sex, like well, five minutes, ten minutes, good. But like, if we're talking like a minute, like they put it in, they immediately come. Jamie Opjana. Um. You don't care, do you? Actually, yeah, but sex does not mean anything to me. So. <laughs> anyway, I actually didn't bring my other memory cards, so we have to cut this one short. But we still have time. I, there's one thing I want to ask uh, you because we we're talking about the the mm. airplane crash thing. Oh, so that's to that. You know, um, I'm just curious because um, because we talked about the the person that we we're gonna think about if we mm-hmm. really um have that situation. situation uh-huh. Uh, you know, my first job interview as a chef, um, my my head chef asked me, "What's the like? If you can have your last meal, mm-hmm. what's what's the last meal you're gonna have?" I'm just very curious. What what do you wanna what do you wanna eat? What so do you are you asking me? Yeah, for as uh, you really you're gonna eat your last meal. Marashango, <sighs> in Kuaburo, maybe. Are you serious? No. Well, maybe I could. It depends not, on what not I'm. Jolly bee and. I mean, it'd be nice. I but always thought it's some like soul food. It would be very something very simple. McDonald's. Honey. And that actually makes sense. Die happy. Mm-hmm. Bum, ba-dum, bum, bum. I'm loving it. Oh my god. What so about Ma- you? Some McDonald's? No. I don't know, but it would be something simple like that. Tacos, maybe. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, my mom's sinigang. Mm-hmm. What about you? Dicks. You're like smiling at me because <laughs> you're about to say just kidding, but to be honest, I feel like you're not lying. You, you could also not be joking. I said it in plural, not singular. <laughs> so. It's, you are nasty. <laughs> you talk about your per- persona being a conservative Christian woman. Where? Where? A fallen Christian woman. You that truly. Turn, then turn into Lucifer. <laughs> yeah, maybe I've, I've said that you and your, my sister might would get along well. I don't think so. I know, my, you're, oh you're, my god! I don't know. Can I talk about this? My sister has shown me uh, videos of. Uh, like she goes to these church sort of events where these uh I don't know what you call them sermons like because they're not priests but they're the guys that are like you know like preaching to the people and everyone around them is like this right uh-huh. and he'll literally be like touching these people on the forehead like may the power of friends whatever and they like fall to the ground and they're like screaming and crying and apparently some people have like their blindness is cured apparently like their diseases are cured people can walk again after not being able to walk let let that person come to me and then cure my Girl, homosexuality, cure that homosexuality. Um, and then the the person's hand will turn into black like, <laughs> <laughs> so fire yeah <laughs> uh <laughs> apparently <laughs> Imagine, and you're just the, saying, like, the evil presence is too strong. I cannot yes, do this. I paint the town red, and I'd be like, "There you go, Mister Priest. Do you want and to so go? You going there do you want to go a... to the dumpster and I have a conversation with me? I'm, I'm, I'm just kidding, but I'm not kidding. If the priest is hot, then I'll consider it, sweetie. Why do you think I did it? Amen, <laughs> nope. amen, honey. Amen. But um, 
yeah, my sister showed me videos of people like getting exercised. Like the demon comes out of them apparently because it's a YouTube channel, right? And uh, it's just a person with a camera. They're just filming the event, and in the out back in the back, you see people screaming because apparently the, the spirits. Sounds, that sounds like a Netflix. <laughs> I know, but it's real. But it's wild to me. Why? Am I, why am I talking about this again? Oh yeah. So I'm saying like we we're talking about. Uh, I had said that you and my sister would get along well, honey. I feel like she'd start screaming well, at you yes and she'll like um she'll pour the holy water at me the second you walk into the room inside mm-hmm. mm-hmm. she starts sweating she feels a little bit itchy yes just, burn marks do we, still have, do we still have time we feel really sorry we don't have enough like memory um card yeah. space so we can talk about in the next episode what are you gonna talk about the holy water thing because I, I was gonna talk talk about my mom's story too okay then we can talk about it starting in the next episode yeah bye bye guys hope you like today's make sure you shave yeah. actually don't shave unless you want to look like a slut teddy no please don't judge me bye Just very personal experience okay very personal and I won't say it I never said it in front of the guy okay and love you all 